Hi Gennitz, how are you doing? Nice to Hi. see you in Bristol. Yeah, welcome Sonic State to our booth. And uh, people typically talk about gear with you, right? So, so I will follow the uh, yeah. same. Well, I hope we're in the I hope we're in the right place. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. Uh, so you've got some new modules. Yeah. What a coincidence! Next week we are launching uh, three new modules, and basically this is world's premiere with Ooh. Sonic State. So Excellent. nobody has seen those before. Ah, okay. So and, what do we uh, So what we have a uh, hex inverter mind phaser. Uh, maybe. Uh, Somebody uh, like who's following our uh, media, we had an announcement that we are taking our FX inverter module uh, yeah. manufacturing. So Mind Phaser is very much anticipated module that uh, Stacy produced only in like less than 100 units. So there are very, very few out at the moment, but now we are putting them to uh, like mass production. And then we have two FX modules dedicated stereo delay and uh, stereo reverb modules, which are um, exceptionally nice sounding modules developed together with Dutch company 112 decibel. And what sets 112 decibel guys apart is that uh, they are, uh, Martijn is not only genius engineer, but he has an an ear on how module, how the uh, right. sound should yeah. uh, should uh, uh, how the module actually should sound. Nice and combination. Uh, yeah, let's uh, let's have some uh, quick overview. So Mind Phaser, it's a uh, it's a kind of classical uh, complex oscillator with carrier oscillator with a modulation oscillator. But what sets it apart is a, is a wave shaping section with a phase modulation um, section, uh, wave folder, feedback module, and amplitude uh, modulation, which is basically built-in amplifier. Right. And uh, uh, MindPhaser has digital control over the uh, interface, meaning uh, it remembers what kind of uh, CV voltages are applied, you know, how much... Uh, what is a uh, state of uh, modulation oscillator and so on, so on. Uh, and it sounds amazing. We will get it to, to it in a minute. Uh, then we, if we go to, to uh, stereo delay, so it's uh, kind of typical stereo delay, but uh, it's built on our uh, proprietary um, DSP platform. So it features three modes, three types, tape, BBD and digital and three modes, which is stereo delay, crossfeed delay, and ping pong delay. We have a uh, typical time feedback uh, and uh, dry wet controls. Then tone, which sets uh, uh, feedback, uh, no, feedback, feedback time, filtering right. and uh, f spread. When you operate uh, by holding shift button, you have a stereo spread, so to uh, to spread out stereo field. Special thing about uh, both modules is that uh, it saves patches. So I can, it's uh, all interfaces scanned, so I can select like patch number, uh, ah, okay. notch, patch number three, and it recalls exact settings on a, on a panel. So what I'm doing here, I'm running a patch change from a sequencer, and as soon I change uh, uh, pattern on a sequencer, it sends CV and it automatically changes settings of the right, module. Interesting. Yeah, and that same works for um, for reverb module as well, where yeah, obviously delay has top tempo, reverb has freeze function, and freeze is Excellent. I do like a freeze. Yeah, and it tunes one volt per octave. So once freezed, you can, you can send uh, one volt per octave signal and ha have kind of rudimentally granular synthesis. Thing, oh, wow, you know? that sounds great. Um, okay. And maybe somebody uh, wonders how it sounds. You know? Yes, <laughs> yeah. that, that is my next question. <laughs> yeah. So uh, what I'm doing here, the first uh, CV output of the black sequencer is controlling pitch of the uh, carrier oscillator. So it's just sending notes. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'm starting the first pattern. Now 
I can increase modulation index. These are in sync now. If I sync them, it sounds much more beautiful. And then we can alter uh, phase distortion index. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Wave folder, which adds up to five octaves of wave folding. And feedback. But now I will touch, uh, switch to another pattern on a sequencer. So it will output constant uh, note on one volt per octave. But what I'm going to do, I will uh, modulate fold, uh, wave folder feedback and uh, phase modulation by uh, f three other. Uh, Oh, somebody changed the right. So you by three yeah. of the uh, lanes, right? So uh, I will uh, modulate uh, those three parameters by uh, other channels of the wave folder. So at the moment when I start, so now it's uh, running constant note on one volt per octave in output, but I'm starting to unmute uh, modulation output. So this is phase, this, uh, phase uh, modulation output. Then I'm adding wave folder. And then some effects. So now when I'm changing to next pattern, Simultaneously, I'll change effects settings and uh, some modulations on this one. Let's advance to next pattern. So again, right, effects yeah, yeah. settings different, and it's uh, like in this case, I'm controlling uh, like. Black sequencer is taking control over uh, so many parameters in a system, but uh, yeah, what makes it uh, special is really uh, ability to have such a detailed control over uh, all parameters of sound in mind phaser oscillator and both also in. Uh, well, it sounds FX like you're, you're heading into the territory of not quite total recall but certainly configurability from yeah, the modular absolutely. which is the yeah. it's sort of a holy mm. grail for some people mm -hmm. right and you know it's a kind of some prefer to go on live performance without any presets and start building up uh, sounds soundscapes from scratch but some want uh, to have very controlled uh, controlled uh, performance and like really specifically predictable effects settings and so these modules work well in uh, in both setups and uh, and yeah I'm so happy that we put out hex inverter module at the finally because people are really looking forward for yeah. it and also those new FX modules add a lot yeah. so uh, these are going to be available do you know how much and when uh, it's uh, uh, we will start uh, we are announcing them next week start shipping uh, also and next week or a week after so they are actually manufactured so we are just setting up logistics and uh, some final tweaks in firmware so what's the what's the cost for the modules um, uh, mind phaser will be uh, considerably uh, cheaper than the uh, original version because our manufacturing is a bit more efficient you know? yeah yeah sure and uh, Mind phaser will be uh, something between uh, 450, 500 euros, and um, these will be around 250, 300. So that we are now doing some final calculations. So yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you Nick, for uh, passing by, and uh, yeah, enjoy the show because it's amazing. I'm first time here. I'm highly impressed. Mm.